All right, so we're ranking every single tailed beast from F to S rank. Now I'm gonna be doing this a little bit from the worst to best. Instead of it being worst to best, I will put it in the order from worst to best, but I'm also going to say it's letter rank. So I'm gonna say just how good it is, just to give you guys a better comparison compared to the other things in the game. So if you guys enjoyed this video, remember to like and subscribe, and let's get right into the video. All right, so starting off this tier list is going to be the Gen One tailed beast. Now this is not gonna include Tintail, nor will Gen Two include Tintail. The reason why I'm gonna be grouping them all together, even though they don't all don't have the same exact abilities, is that they're basically the same. Same. They have very slight variations, like some blind, some do burn damage. Overall, they're almost all the exact same, so that's why I'm going to be ranking them in this single tier. But Gen 1 Tailed Beast, unfortunately, is going to be D rank. Now, the only thing they're really good for is the drip, and if you're not really a drip person, if you care more about the actual PvP or the PvE aspect of it, Gen 1 Tailed Beasts are quite literally the worst Tailed Beasts of the game, and they are one of the worst modes in the game. The reason for this is because they're never going to be adding Baron Mode, which is which is Baron Mode is pretty much, you know, what makes Gen 2 as good as it is. If it wasn't for Baron Mode, Gen 2 would also be quite bad, especially in this meta. Um, you know, the it has very it's funny because they used to have the highest stats of the game, but now the stats are actually subpar compared to the other super high stats. And I know that some people are, say that stats don't matter. They definitely do. There's a lot of times where people will live with 20, 30, 40,000 HP. And if you did less damage and they had less health, then I mean if you did more damage and they had less health, then um, you know, obviously you would have killed them. So stats do make a big difference, even if it's only small in your mind. But the reason why it's gonna be D rank is because they're not really that good overall. The stats are underwhelming the abilities are hard to hit and just overall aren't really that good and all gen 1 has going for it like i said is the drip so if you care about the drip gen 1 is better than gen 2 and all the other ones but overall Gen 1 sub. Now, coming up next is going to be the Gen 2 Tailed Beast. Now, Gen 2 Tailed Beast is not going to include Tails, but I will be including Grab Tailed, even though Grab Tailed is a bit different. It does overall share the same aspect of the, all the other ones. Now, when it comes to Gen 2, I'm actually going to be ranking it at a solid B rank. This is only for the Baron mode. Um, the reason why you actually don't see Baron mode that much is because it's just really a spam mode. There's zero skill involved to it. You gen generally will see people with no skill using this just because um, it is so spammy. If you spam the moves as well as spamming other iframes, you won't be able to hit at all. So people won't be able to hit you a single time just because of the amount of iframes this actually gives you. And that's for the fact that the M1s do drain chi. The only issue with this is that you can only mode up once and you cannot unmode and there's a, there's a very long cooldown to it. The only way to avoid the cooldown is to actually rejoin the game. So in the end of things, I think B rank is very solid for this considering that you can only do it once usually per server unless you rejoin and you can't unmode from it. So once you run out of mode, you're pretty much going to die unless you reset. And if you reset in pvp well then i guess you do that some people don't like it some people do it, it's up to the person but yeah i do think baron mode is a very strong mode in this game it definitely will carry you if you're bad at the game just by spamming it but i do feel like it has a lot of restrictions to it which is why it's going to be b rank if you guys hit the like button subscribe to this video right now you get 50 million times like getting the best tailed beasts in the game now coming up next is going to be gen 1 gen 2 tin tails now i'm going to go ahead and put this out front gen 2 tin tails is better than gen 1 the reason for this is because the dragon is better for traveling overall that's the only reason why. Now, the first stage of Tintails is a lot better than the second stage because the Z spec is better for PvP. The, the Q spec is better for PvP. I will say that the second mode is a lot better for PvE content, but for PvP specifically, Tintails stage one is significantly better because, because it has better overall abilities for PvP. Now, because of this, I'm actually be ranking Tintails at an A minus rank. Now, A minus is, I think, is a very solid for Tintails. The reason why it's not going to rank higher is because some of the abilities are clunky. Um, the stats really aren't that amazing. And and in the second stage, it has a lot of issues that, you know, unless if you like traveling, then go ahead and get stage two. But I feel like the fact that stage one is better definitely says something about Tin Tails as it dealt with the bloodline modes when stage one is better. Now, if it wasn't for A minus rank, I would actually be putting this at A rank or A plus rank, but I do feel like it has a lot of drawbacks. It isn't as good as the other tailed beasts. It kind of is lackluster as a Z mode, but it definitely is not bad. A rank is above average now, and I do think Tin Tails is above average on the PvP and PvE aspect, especially for the traveling of the second stage really amazing now for gen 3 i will be separating all of them just so you guys can get a better you know overall feel for the gen 3 tailed beast now coming up first for the gen 3s is going to be maru gen 3 at an s minus rank now the reason why it's going to be s minus is that um i actually do feel like you, the fact that you're so low to the ground definitely is a very disadvantageous thing because the whole point of gen 3 is that you're high up off the ground your abilities are easy to hit and stuff like that maru has a really good combo extender on the weapon spec but the actual z spec is the exact same as a paul and you know i guess that that's something to be considered so 
from an actual logical standpoint maru is worse than a paul so i'm gonna be putting it s minus because it isn't as good as the other gen threes it definitely is s rank so that's why it's gonna be s minus but i feel like the fact that you're so close to the ground is a very significant disadvantage compared to the other gen threes because it is a lot easier to hit you and by a lot easier i mean genuinely a lot easier you will be hit significantly more often than if you're using the other gen threes people really underestimate like going vertical in shindo life vertical combat is one of the is very difficult to do in shindo life in general because a lot of the moves are lateral they're not vertical by lateral i mean horizontal like they go forward or backwards or to the side they don't go up so there's very rarely a move that goes up unless you're actually aiming at yourself which makes being higher up a significant advantage for pvp it's also better for pve content because you don't get hit as many abilities because you're actually higher up off the ground so i think s minus rank is a very solid rank for maru if you disagree if you're to tell my comments below the coming up next is going to be the first gen 3 a paul gen 3 coming at a solid s rank solid s nothing else just as now the reason for this is because a pole overall i actually do feel like a pole is an extremely good tail beast now the reason why it's not gonna be s plus is because you have something coming next but the reason why it's gonna be s rank like i said it's higher up off the ground than maru the the abilities are almost the exact same as maru's so the, the, you know it's not anything about the abilities it's all about being high up off the ground that's the only reason why a pole is going to be better the actual q spec is different than maru obviously uh, the q spec makes it so it summons the tail beast it runs around at the end of the tail beast being summoned it does a sand ability that could stun people so i do feel like being off the ground is a very significant advantage as i previously mentioned and you know the abilities i do think the q spec is worse but the fact that the z spec is the same and the z spec is mainly the one that you're going to be using from gen 3 i do think that it deserves to be s rank instead of s minus by the way guys what is your favorite tailed beast in shindle life if you read the comments below we'll be checking them out now coming in the best tailed beast in the game is going to be sparky gen 3 now if you haven't went and watched my review of sparky gen 3 i recommend you go do that because this isn't going to go into that much of detail but i will be explaining why it's going to be at the rank it is the rank as you might be questioning is going to be s plus now sparky gen 3 s plus rank the first of all the z spec is significantly better it does as much damage as the other ones but also has a travel aspect to it where you roll and the rolling effect is actually extremely fast it's a lot faster than you think it would be and it you know it's very hard to avoid compared to the other ones which are projectiles this one isn't a projectile it's a projectile plus you rolling so it's a lot easier to get to people it's a lot easier to combo extend with it's a lot easier to hit in general so the z spec is superior to the other ones now that doesn't get me started on the q spec which is a move stackable 150,000 damage ability that is combo extendable and it stuns afterwards now if you don't know what i'm talking about by using this ability um, you need to go and try it yourself if you actually haven't this ability is insane it's the single best tail beast ability in the entire game and i do think this is what makes it s plus rank besides the z spec actually being better now it isn't quite as high up as appall but it's kind of a mid ground between maru and appall and i feel like the fact that sparky's ability is being so much better than you know Apol and maru's definitely makes it s plus rank not to the fact that the stage two and three are significantly better than the stage two and threes of the other one because it actually has a very long place lock stun attached to the q spec of it now also do want to mention that sparky is the least drippy tail beast if that matters to you you know it isn't as drippy as the other ones but i do feel like sparky's abilities are better they're better it's better for pve it's better for pvp um you know the abilities they're just really good overall abilities they will definitely you know carry you in fights i think sparky gen 3 it's going to be it's going to be broken for a really long time i don't imagine it getting nerfed because all the other gen 3s hasn't been nerfed but these these the abilities of sparky they really made them significantly stronger than the other ones just by making them a little bit different and i do applaud them for that i'm glad that they made a difference so it wasn't just a rehatch of like maru or paul so uh, yeah if you the jury the jury is out sparky gen 3 is by far the single best gen 3 and actually rivals being one of the best z spec modes in the entire game and that is something to be you know very acknowledgeable above because there are extremely good z specs in the game if you guys don't know that you got a kuma eternal hand you got some of the other z specs in the game sparky gen 3 definitely rivals them but you do have to be aware that it does drain a lot of mode in the final form so that's something to be aware of all the gen 3 final forms also have really amazing stats so just keep that in mind when you're using them anyways guys asked before this video if you enjoyed this video remember to like subscribe post this guys bye bye